This is just a short demo to show you how parameters work in Active Connect version 6. So what you're looking at right now is a very simple integration that does not have any parameters at all and this is to integrate customers into the system. And I can run it and you can see no errors occurred. Now let's say that instead of importing all customers from our source data and we've only got three rows in here but let's say we want to give the user the ability to filter the customers they want to import by state and zip code. So I'll show you how you would do that. So on the integration itself on the data map you go to the parameters tab and you create and name the parameters first. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a parameter called zip and then I'm going to type in the text that I want to appear in the prompt to the user when the zip codes to be acquired. And I'll just put in please enter zip and the data type is going to be string. And this will be the first parameter that I want to prompt for. The next parameter is going to be state. And I'm going to type in please enter state. And this is also going to be a string expression and this will be the second one that I want to bring in. And I'm going to go ahead and save that and recall it so it's uh, AR customers and I can see that the parameters are still there on the data map itself. Now when I go into the data source I'm going to do that by double clicking on the node. Um, I then have a, I have access to easily enter in those parameters into my SQL text. Let me just make the SQL text a little bit bigger first. There we go. So let's say now um, the WHERE clause has to be expanded to encompass the zip code and the state. So we'll say AND primary zip equals a parameter. So I'm just going to right click my mouse and you can see all these parameters are available. There's a bunch of system ones like you know who the user is, the integration ID, integration description and so on. And then down at the bottom are the two that uh, I just set up. So I'm going to pick zip and I'm going to say and primary state equals state. <clears throat> so what that does is it takes the parameter name and it puts double braces around each side of it and then it properly quotes it. Um, the way it quotes and doesn't quote is 99 percent um, perfect but there are some situations like when you're dealing with Olay DB data and I'm getting this data from Excel sometimes you have to kind of experiment with uh, whether or not there needs to be uh, the quotes in the data. In this particular example since the data is actually numeric even though it's stored as a string the system prefers uh, there not to be any quotes around uh, that particular field in this case. Okay so now I can preview the data and it's going to prompt me to enter the zip code, so I'll put 92677. And it's going to prompt me to enter the state, I'll put CA for California. And I can see that just one record comes back. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save that. Now I'm back on the integration itself, and when I run the integration, it's going to give me those same prompts, and it's going to bring up the last value. And I'll just accept the last value for both the zip and the state, and then let it run. You can see one went in. So that's it. That's how you use these uh, these parameters. You don't have to go out to a SQL table and and find what the parameter is in the parameter table. Nothing like that. It's real simple. Just enter them just like this. Um, one thing worth noting here is that uh, that the parameters are part of the data map itself, and there's a couple reasons for that. We didn't want to put the definition of the parameters on the data source for a few reasons. One of the reasons was that an integration might have multiple data sources and those multiple data sources might use the same parameters. They probably would, in which case the system would prompt for the parameter more than once, which I don't think is preferable. So we actually put the prompt parameters at the data map level so that the user is only prompted one time for the entire integration. This did present one challenge though and that is that when you are in a data source itself uh, the data source does not have parameters but you're noticing when I do a preview it's prompting me for the parameters. So how does the data source know 
what parameters to use when the parameters are actually attached to the data map. <clears throat> and the answer is, on this tab, on this tab, the schema and preview parameters tab, over here, you can tell it which data map to go look at in order to uh, get some parameters. In this case, it's set to AR customers, which is the uh, data map we have over here. And by the way, um, there's a couple nuances to the way this works. So if I, if I set these preview parameters to none, and again I'm in the data source, and I try and run this, it's probably going to complain. It's not going to like it because it's not doing any of the parameter substitution like it should. In other words, the SQL text is constructed in such a way that it has parameters in it, but there are uh, it's not pointing to a data map to get the parameters, so it's a problem. You will notice um, that if you if you come and you double click on the node on the data map it's automatically going to go to the data source as it always does and it automatically populates this field for you too um, so that that is already completed and we'll just go ahead and run this again and make sure it works okay so that's it that's how parameters work in active connect version 6 I hope that helps